We have to introduce you to Dash. Katie Flory brought him in from the Maryland SPCA. And if mm -hmm. anybody could ever say that a dog doesn't smile, this is proof that they're oh, wrong. Oh, they are. He He's is a so sweetheart. Cute. <laughs> what do you know about him? Uh, he is a four-year-old poodle mix. He was transferred to the Maryland SPCA from Barks and he's looking for a good home. He is probably one of the sweetest little guys I have met. Um, very laid back. Yes. <laughs> and there's a lot going on here. I'm always impressed when dogs aren't phased by all the movement that's happening in Absolutely. the studio. He was just sitting and kind of watching everyone. I think he'd make a great studio dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I'll back. <laughs> Dash, you're not going anywhere. Plus, he's a smoocher. He is. Loves to give kisses. Um, really loves to give kisses on your face, on your hands, any place that he can uh, give you kisses he wants to. Now listen, this is a big debate in my house because I see Dash is sporting a very um, handsome sweater. Yes. And my husband always says, our dogs don't need sweaters. But they do, don't well, they? Well, certain breeds do. You know, your Akitas, your Huskies who love the cold weather, no, probably not. But a little guy like Dash here who uh, will get groomed, yeah, it, it's, it's important with this kind of weather to make sure they're warm too. So a little sweater, a jacket to put on, even just when you go outside can be a really good idea. And this one looks really easy, like it's just one of those things you pull over the head. Absolutely. And, you know, if you think the dog doesn't like it, mm -hmm. they actually do really need they it. Do, they do need it. And they're cute, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They look cute. And it's easy to spot them, too. Absolutely. So that's a good thing. Now, where can people find Dash if they're interested? Um, they can come to the SPCA today. We'll be open from 12 to 5. Okay. Uh, they can also go to our website, which is www.mdspca.org. And we will also be at the Pet Expo this weekend, starting today through Sunday. All right. Tell us a little bit about that. It is a wonderful event for all pet lovers. Um, I look at it as like the animal craft fair. Yeah. But not only do you go in and look at crafts, you can go in and see demonstrations. You can visit the SPCA as well as all of the other local shelters in the area. Okay, great. All right, so more information, go to the Maryland SPCA's website. And don't forget about Dash. Look at that face. He needs a home. Linda, isn't he just saying, adopt me, adopt me, adopt me? Yes, yes, he's very cute, and I love that purple collar. Yeah, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Katie Flory from the Maryland SPCA, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks and thanks for, for all the hard us. work you guys do. Thank you. All right, Linda. All right.